I like to say the world is better off that I'm not a poet. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just, I, that's my gift to the world is that I'm not putting my poetry out there. Um, <laughs> so I wrote, I wrote poetry in high school and I look back and I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Fiction was always my, my first love and still is. I, I sort of cheat with my fiction just because it's pulled from a lot of my nonfiction, right? It's pulled from life experience. It's pulled from people I know, really pulled from places I know. I write primarily stories about Texas, you know, people in the various corners of Texas that I know and love and uh, have, have issues with. My fiction feels cathartic just because I'm getting a lot of, a, a, I'm inserting a lot of my nonfiction in there as well in very sneaky and, you know, fictionalized ways. But I do also do nonfiction, creative nonfiction. I, I've written essays and I teach it and I love reading it. And that's its own sort of catharsis and, you know, art because that takes, a, you know, as my students know, when I tell them, I was like, that takes, that takes guts, you know, to put, to just say like, hey, this is nonfiction and I'm just laying it out there for you. And I'm not always willing to go there <laughs> when I write. My instinct is to, to frame it as fiction and, you know, invent and create. And there's, there's just something about nonfiction that I, I do a little more sparingly, like I have to be sort of in the zone and go, okay, yeah, what I'm writing is going to be nonfiction. This is not uh, going to be shaped as a story, but I do both.